So the first step is going to be one of the most important steps. You want to take your ancient door number two and put it fairly close to your back door. And this is going to be the back side of your building. So you want to line that up perfectly with the door on the outside of your base on the back side. And you want to put five ancient slanted walls. Pick the biggest one that they have. These are going to be 10 by 16 and put five on both sides of your door. And then you're going to want to take the 10 by 12 ancient slanted wall and place one of these on each end. Once you place those, you want to put the ancient corner on the end of that on both sides. Take three of the 10 by 16, which is the largest of the ancient slanted walls, and you place those on the sides of your building. Make sure that as you place these, you do the same thing on the other side. That way you don't have to rewind this video and go back and figure out what you missed. Once you have that done, you want to take a 10 by 8 ancient slanted wall and place two of them, followed by the same door that you used for the back, followed by one more 10 by 8 ancient slanted wall. At this point, what you want to do is take an ancient corner and place that at the end of that wall piece. Make sure you get it done on both sides. Now this step is very important. You want to take an ancient slanted wall that is 10 by 4 by 12 and place one of those on your corner and then follow that by an ancient corner. Once you get the ancient corner done, you want to add another one of those same small slanted walls, the 10 by 4 by 12. Once you get that part done, you want to add a full size 10 by 16 followed by a 10 by 12 ancient slanted wall. Then you're going to want to add another inside ancient corner. Then you want to take a 10 by 4 ancient slanted wall and place that at the end of each corner, followed by another corner. Now you take the smallest ancient slanted wall, which is a 10 by 2, and you place one on each side of the entryway. Head down to your ancient railing and your stairs and place one of those so the corner lines up with the corner of the slanted wall you just placed. Then you want to head inside and grab the ancient post and place one of those at the end of your stair railing. Now it's time to add the stairs. Now I may have placed these one tick in, it really doesn't matter. Just get them in there. I'm sure you will figure it out. Now that we have the first layer and the foundation of the building done, what we want to do is we want to go down in building parts and walls and we want to get the palatial corner. Now you have two options here. One is all wood and the other palatial corner has the stone design at the bottom. It's up to you which one you want to use, but you want to go ahead and place these at every single corner around the entire foundation. Here's where you also have options. So you, as you can see, these two walls look different and you have the two options of which ones you want to use. The windows I am using in this video are the same windows I use in my base on my survival server. Another thing to note is that you want to start building the walls from the outside in. So if you have extra space in the center, you can fill it in and it will be the same on both sides. I'm using the Shoji wall number one here, and I think it looks pretty good. Now this section does allow you to fit three pieces in there perfectly, which is awesome. Now, once you get over to the back side, you want to place six of these Shoji window number threes, which is the largest size, and just fill in the center. What I use is the Shoji window number one to fill this in, and it fits perfect. 
On the ends, three Shoji windows, full size. Number three will fit. Now in these little spots, I use Shoji window number one and Shoji wall number one. This is what you should have at this point. Now we start roofing. You want to grab the Kawara hip, stand below on the ground, and snap it right in the corner. This leaves the correct amount of overhang and puts it right where it needs to be. You want to copy what I did here and put these hips on every corner that you see that I put them on. And then you want to follow these front ones up with the Kawara Valley and fill in the extra space with two roof number fives and one roof number one. Once you complete this on both sides, you can go ahead and snap on your Kawara hips on the very front above the stairs. Follow it up with a Kawara roof number three. Go ahead and add on the valley straight onto the hip on either side. And it should be pretty simple to fill these in. Take a Kawara roof number three and a Kawara roof number five, and that should fill that in. On the back side, just take the Kawara roof number five and fill it in all the way down, followed by a Kawara roof number three, and that should fit perfectly. The number five should fit two of them on the end. Now that that layer is done, we're just going to go around adding these palatial corners. And like I said, you can pick any style you would like for these corners. We're going to take our big windows, which is a Shoji window number three. If you chose a different window like we talked about earlier, that's fine as well. So you're going to put two on the end. They'll fit perfectly. And as I stated earlier, you want to start on each side. Luckily, all three fit right here, and we don't have to fill anything in the middle. Now, this section, we are going to have to fill something in in the middle. We have a space open. And we're going to do the same thing as we did earlier and use the Shoji wall number one to fill those in. And you're going to do the exact same thing with these small areas as we did below. Get our Shoji wall number one in there. Three should fit perfectly here. And two should fit perfectly here on the end, just like the other side. Now on the back side here, you want to use full size windows like we did on the first layer. And once you get to the center, I used Shoji window number two, and two of them fit in there perfectly. This is what you should end up with. And from here, you want to go ahead and snap on your Kawara hips on every single corner. And of course, fill this backside in with Kawara roof number fives, as we did on the last two. And you should end up with a space that will fit a Kawara roof number three. Now, once we get to the front up here, you want to add two Kawara roof number fives, followed by a Kawara roof number one, followed by a hip. I'm sorry, followed by a valley. Now you want to take a hip and attach it directly to that valley. Make sure you do the same thing on both sides. Two number fives followed by a number one. And then a valley followed by a hip. For this next section, we're going to use a roof number five and a roof number one. Then we're going to add these Kawara Valleys straight onto that and snap the hips on.
This is what you will end up with. And it only gets easier from here. You want to go ahead and add your palatial corners or whatever corners that you decided to use. And then go ahead and fill in all these sections as we've been doing the entire time. Each layer does get smaller, but you should still be able to fit a full one on the end still. You can fill these small sections in the same way we did below with a shoji wall number one and a shoji window. Then you can go ahead and work your way from the outside in on this front section. Now, once you get to the center of this one, you will need to put a shoji wall number one or anything else that is the same size of your choice. Now we're gonna start again with the roofing. We're gonna go ahead and, and snap our hips in. These hips should fit perfectly on this section, butted right up against each other. Then you can go ahead and fill this in with roof number fives. And if it needs something at the end, you can go ahead and add that Kawari roof number three. Now we're gonna go ahead and snap these roofs on on this front part. And then add the valley directly onto it like we did before and fill these sections in. You are gonna need to use a Kawari roof number one as well as two Kawari roof number fives. Now that we're at the top of the building, you would think that we would fill this in with roofing, but nope, we're adding another layer. Go ahead and grab your pillars, add four pillars, and you're gonna have to fill this middle section in. What I did here is I used two shoji window number threes, one shoji window number two in the middle, and two shoji wall number ones. Now you can fill these in however you like, but what I did is I used a shoji window number two and an umber wall on each side. Now, on this top section, which is the last section, you're gonna need to snap the hip on and then move it over one spot out. This will keep them centered. If the game will not allow you to move it once it's snapped, then you can freehand it and just don't hold down the snap button and you should be able to move it to the correct location. From there, you just fill in the roof with a quarry roof number one and two number fives. Now here, it's up to you how you do this these, um, these ridges, but you do wanna go to the ridge section and fill these in. Um, as you can see here, I use these Kawar Ridge number ones mixed with those cool designs that look like they are the same design as the hip, which is the Ridge number two. Now here, what you want to do is you want to go out two clicks in order for your Ridge number ones to fit in there evenly without any space. This is what you will end up with if you follow the guide correctly. Um, look out for part number three, where I show you guys how to build the other buildings, as well as the pathways and the garden. Thanks for watching.